Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another first impression video. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at Noble Otter, Te Noir et Vanille for the first time. And I will also be checking out the Gillette Silver Blue Razor Blade inside of the Dracant V1 prototype and the Brass Carved Christopher Bradley Razor B Plate. Okay, let's first start by talking about the fragrance. So the Noble Otter Te Noir et Vanille, that stands for Black Tea and Vanilla. And the story behind it is that it's meant to be, you know, kind of feel like um, having a cup of tea, a late night cup of tea in Paris. This is the third and final of my new Noble Otter fragrances. Uh, I also tried out Noble Otter Plunder and Noble Otter Lone Star in two of my previous videos. The Plunder was very unique, actually as was the Lone Star, and they were both hits for me, although they are very unique and very kind of different. Um, the Te Noir Avani, There aren't a ton of scent notes. They're basically described as bergamot, black tea, or a loose black tea. Then you've got jasmine, which is often a flavor that you get in teas as well. And then there's vanilla and strawberry. And the scent strength is right where I like it. It's kind of a high medium scent strength. Uh, you know, I could smell it off the tub while I was lathering it up. I could smell it the whole time. Um, and different than the other two fragrances, uh, both the Plunder and the Lone Star, first of all, they didn't smell as I expected them to based on the scent notes. And they also smell different from the tub than they did on the face. But I would say that Te Noir et Vigny is very much as I would expect it to smell based on the scent notes. And it also, that, that fragrance carries across while lathering it up and also on the face. It's a very pleasant fragrance. I'm not getting a ton Sorry, just had to get the trim there. I'm not getting a ton of the, the um, jasmine, I'm not getting a ton of the bergamot, a uh, little bit of the vanilla, but right now it's pretty much all tea. And um, yeah, all tea and strawberry. And you know, it's a nice fragrance. Got that tea fragrance, got that strawberry fragrance. And you know, it just, it just feels good. It's not overly sweet, not overly gourmand. The black tea sort of anchors it down. Uh, so yeah, very nice. That sun strength is holding. And um, I will say it's very strong in the strawberry. So if you're not a huge strawberry fan, then this one's maybe not for you, but I'm enjoying it. I'm actually not normally a huge strawberry fan, but I'm enjoying it. The Noble Otter base is, you know, always great. Always lathers up really easily. It's a kind of a medium soft base, not too hard, not too soft. I used a quarter teaspoon of soap and I scooped and I got a great amount of lather out of it without too much work. Nice and slick. Uh, also for an artisan shave soap, it is on the cheaper side. It's about 20 to $25 Canadian. Whereas a lot of these other artisan soaps, uh, they can be over $30. I've seen uh, a lot of them, 
you know, at the 35 price point. I've even seen some approaching 40, which is a little bit too much for my liking. But yeah, big fan of the Noble Otter so far. I haven't had a miss yet. I now have five, five Noble Otter soaps and they're all hits for me. All right, now talking about these Gillette Silver Blues. So these are the first proper Gillette named blades that I'm gonna try in this uh, kind of razor first impression series. I've had a few other blades that are made in Gillette factories, but not uh, a properly like name brand Gillette brand blade. Now this silver blue, as far as I understand, is kind of a fan favorite. It's a crowd pleaser. It's Russian made, Teflon coated. In terms of sharpness, it seems to come in right about the middle of the road um, in terms of like a medium sharpness rating. From what I can tell, it seems to be rated around the same sharpness as a Voskhod blade, which I did earlier in the series, another Russian blade, another coated blade. And I was able to get pretty good shaves with it. I would say it came in at maybe number two in all of the blades I've tried in the series so far. Let's go ahead with the Christopher Bradley on the other side. And so far so good, it's doing pretty well. I'm working on about three days worth of growth. All of the previous videos I had two days worth of growth. One other thing I'm doing differently with this video is I am using the Christopher Bradley B plate. In the previous videos, I've been using the Rockwell 6S razor as the control razor um, on one side of my face and then the Jacant on the other side. Um, but, you know, after several videos with that, I just decided to switch it up. The B plate on the Christopher Bradley is a 0.73 mill millimeter blade gap, which is the same as the Jacant razor. And it also has like a lower profile cap, which is kind of similar to that of the Dracont. So there are some more similarities there than the, uh, the Rockwell 6S. But also the other reason I did is I just wanted to switch it up, you know, try something different. These silver blues are feeling pretty nice though. For uh, what's rated as a medium efficiency blade, it's doing a very nice job across the grain. I think I may have got myself just there on the Christopher Bradley on the Adam's apple, but sometimes it happens, you know, that Adam's apple sticks out. So uh, what else is going on? Well, the pass around is still going on. I've had 
well over 20 users now. A lot of people over on the Damn Fine Shaves forum as well, leaving some uh, kind of longer form written reviews if, you, if anyone is curious and wants to check that out. The feedback is still overwhelmingly good, uh, with the only real notes being the consistent Consistent comments on the prototype finish, which again will be addressed in the shipping razor, and um, you know the forum users being very experienced users just want something heavy. This is a medium plate; it's more of an entry level efficiency, so that that makes sense. But everything else is continuing to hold. consensus is it shaves well for what it's built as and um you know people like the build they like the the looks the build quality all that stuff also uh jason from the razor company he had it recently and he had some great things to say about it and also he had some really good notes just from sort of uh business perspective, like where to go from here kind of thing. So I really appreciate that. Jason, if you're watching this, thank you. What else? Um, John Bonham, my buddy, he hit a thousand followers on Instagram and he's doing a giveaway. So he had a, a gift card of $50. And then Jason matched it, so that uh, brought it up to a hundred dollars of Razor Company gift cards. And then you know, since John is uh, a friend, and he was like actually the first person I knew in the community, really really great guy. So I just decided I, I had this uh, success Rockwell in the box when I bought my own. I um, I wanted to give one away, so I ended up buying two, one for a giveaway. And I've been holding on to it, kind of just waiting for the right time or, you know, the right moment for for a good giveaway. It seemed like the right time, so I just added it to his giveaway. So if you have not gone over to, to John Bonham, the Cape Cod wet shaving over on Instagram, go over there because there's $100 of TRC gift cards and a Rockwell success to win. So you, you want to get in on that. Uh, he's going to draw tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Probably by the time I release this video, it'll be today. So if you're watching this, get over there on Tuesday and uh, get in on that before it's too late. All right, against the grain with the Christopher Bradley. Pretty nice. I always need to buff a tiny bit, little bit on that uh, that lip there. Looks like I might have one little weeper there. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, and the last thing. Is Alpha Shaving Works, Steve. He is going to be, uh, he's working on a soap collaboration with uh, Wickham Soaps. Damn, I just got my Adam's apple in there. The soap is called Alpha Noir. It's um, kind of a masculine, traditional masculine fragrance. It's so got like spices and neroli, amber, vanilla, all that good stuff. It's got some Turkish rose in there. And he's having a label design competition going on. The winner of that competition is going to get 
uh, a set of the soap and also win a razor, either the Outlaw or the Claymore, I guess, if you already have an Outlaw. So I've entered that. I have a few uh, entries on there. You can see it on my Aylesworth Razors account. And if you have some design chops, you might want to check out entering that too. All right, let's try out this Te Noir et Vanille Splash. Clear splash on the pour. Smell that alcohol. Hmm. Mildly alcohol forward fragrance, but the scent strength takes over right away and overpowers it. Kind of a low medium hit punch with that alcohol. The fragrance is very nice, a little more vanilla forward on the splash. And the tea kind of takes a, a slightly more of a back seat there. Very nice fragrance though. Okay, so now let's talk about the Gillette Silva Brew, Blue. This was a very good shave. Uh, I dinged myself a couple times on the Adam's Apple with the Christopher Bradley. Uh, I think it's just because the Christopher Bradley is a little bit more blade forward than the Dracant, and so we're just getting used to it there. But I mean, apart from that, it was pretty good. And uh, it's a very, very, very nice smooth shave. This, uh, I think, ranks up among one of the best shaves I've had in the series so far. You know, uh, Nick to Adam's apple notwithstanding. So overall, very nice shave. Another hit from Noble Otter for me, Te Noir et Vanille. I, I really like this one. I could definitely see myself using it under um, a number of different moods. And the Gillette Silver Blue are a hit too. I think they may take the second spot now. So uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't liked, hit that like button right now if you do like it. And uh, feel free to leave something in the comments too. And of course, go ahead and follow or subscribe. Uh, if you haven't done that yet either. All right, see you guys in the next video.